Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay. I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks? Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. Hello, Mr. We're looking Randolph. for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner? Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I'm a professional. I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Well, Always slipping. pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. I'm sure he was just looking at porn the whole time. Mysterious deaths, urban legends so come good. true. And get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Ooh. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he There's wrote. There's no walk button. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. Huh. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. It's just a boat. Come on, mister. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. Hold on a sec, guys. I just want to check something. Okay, we're back. I had to uh, fix something. So this is chapter three in Alan Wake. There are supposedly five chapters, so we're almost halfway through. That's Barry. This is Alan. And that's Randolph, I guess. The... It's almost like Rudolph. Um, and I'm in a different place right now. I'm at my house. Just follow me. It's not far. Yeah. Okay. Hold, hold your horses. I'm talking. And um, so it might sound different, and my mic's kind of breaking. I don't know. Listen, I got things to do. This place don't run itself. It seems like it's gonna be fine. I mean, everybody just lives in trailers. Relax. Come on. So, if it sounds bad, I'm sorry. I'm really frustrated with it, and just be patient. I'm trying to get a new mic, but it looks pretty expensive, so... We'll see how it goes. I wonder why this guy's limping. Maybe that boat over there crashed on him. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Aww. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff. Anyway, Al, I believe it. I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. Who's Cynthia? I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. Ew. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Why did he go to the trash can? Is that the whole light thing where it's like, hey? Lights on, lights off. Oh, tire swing! Could we play in the tire swing, please? Wee, wee. This is Alan Wake enjoying himself on the park. Ah, oh, give me a break, Mister. Can we just get a move on? Just checking my mic. Sorry for the sound. Um. Oh, I want to play with the wagon. Can I get it outside the the sandbox? Push everything. I don't think I can. 
Oh no, there we go. Oh, look at that wagon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this with me, guys. Uh, wrong way, wrong way. There we go. I can walk now. Why is he limping? Well, Mister, this Why is Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're Corn. just here to talk to her, pal. Her, she has a great stash. Ah. <sighs> Let's get it. I feel like I'm missing a manuscript already, but oh well. What's well, weird that it's daytime. This door's weird. Welcome to... to... Oh dear. Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? You're kinda scary. Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please, come in. The subtitles don't match what she was saying. Hey, this is really good! Rose. Yes? My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah, uh, hey Al? Al, what's... Oh. Barry! Barry! No! What? No, she drugged us. Throw the coffee in her. You should have thrown the coffee at her. Wow, Alan was trying to get an upskirt shot. This is very mature. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. Am I sleeping again? I promised I'd come visit you. Your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. The creepy hag. I insist. You must turn the lights on. There's no, there's no light switch around me. Back to work, boy. This is getting pretty serious. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. Oh, I can't tell reality from dream anymore. But it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. I feel like she's very controlling. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. Hey. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Oh, look at that cute little mammoth. Hold on, guys. I need to check something again. Sorry for the inconvenience. Yeah, just my fears expected. My mic's breaking. And I can't do anything about it. I'm sorry, guys. Actually, if I can use X, I don't know. I'll have to mess with it. We're gonna keep. Oh, Barry! Rose took a day from me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. What's Rose doing here? You're right. Deserve more money. I'm so handsome. You're balding, Barry. Shut Welcome up. to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. Aww. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? No, I don't. Thank you. A nice day. Come back. Soon. I'm leaving Barry here. I don't really care. <gasps> My manuscript. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Pick up the manuscript. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, 
the writer and his smart ass sidekick. Smart ass sidekick. And they've been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called her. Her normal the bedtime? Station. Well, this guy sounds like a major stalker. Uh, blah, blah. There we go. Sorry, I know this is like the third time I've done it, guys, but I'm really sorry about it. Okay, hopefully that's the last time I need to do that. I, uh, for some reason my frames were really far down and I needed to uh, fix it. I wonder if, it'd be kind of funny if you, I'm just Alan Wake in the woods, just uh, peeing on a tree or something. Um, just my own little humor. What is this? Oh, radio. It's like, what's the green thing blinking? I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. I had like my <laughs> first me? nightmare five days ago. Well, perhaps it is. But I well, not first, like first in like three years. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well... I ain't the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I've just been staring out of the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Sounds like he's on drugs. Yeah. Crack. Yeah. Something like that, Walt. Yeah. Well, you know, he's, uh, you know, Daddy's my best friend, and, uh, they let me out on bail today. And now I'm just alone here at the window, you know, waiting. Man, and there's something in the air tonight. Pushing all this crap over. Uh, I was just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? I don't know. I, you know, something. A nuke's gonna go off at the end of our week. Spoilers. I think I better go. Well, well uh, maybe... No, that, thanks, Pat. Uh, well, good luck to you, Walt. Hang in there. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? I bet you it's gonna be a tornado. Like, from the bridge in the very beginning of this game. That whole tornado scene was like... Whoosh, 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 that you're running away from. Let's get to the car. Screwberry. A thermos. Pick up the thermos. Nice little flagpole we have here. Hey, look, it's Randolph. Oh, you're gonna get it now. What? I didn't do anything. I swear I didn't rape her. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI! Get him up, Hemingway! You're under arrest! Hemingway? You move Hemingway? a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face! Stay right where you are, Hemingway! Why? What cause do you have to fire? Wow, these FBI people suck at firing guns. I mean, I'm not good either, but... What are you? I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac! Seriously, what? The FBI would never shoot like that. They need causal causality. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Run! They 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 just wouldn't they wouldn't fire at them. He does not have a weapon. He's not armed or anything. There was there'd be no reason for them to shoot. I mean, even even they did they did think some they did like I did something to what what's her name Rose or whatever. There'd be no reason for it. There he is. Free. Don't shoot me. Can I have your flashlight? Keep your eyes peeled. He's gonna try to make it through here. Oh, 
damn. Hey, it's good there's a flare. It means they're, um... Shit! I'm out of sprinting speed. Who carved this path with jutting rocks? This game is very flawed right now. Uh, shit, where do I go? I don't think I can go up there. Do I go this way? Nope, I'm assuming I go this way. Where is that thing? Ow, my leg. He's gone. Come on, guys. We need to head him off. Oh, it's part of my manuscript. Did I miss a page? Nope. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the rider on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Cool. Interesting. Let's get out of here. That old hag wearing darkness. It'd be funny if this correlated with the game The Darkness. Holy shit, look at that cop. It's been flattened as a pancake. Come in, Agent Nightingale. This is Sheriff Breaker. Over. Can is there in, no weapons in here? What on earth is going on? My deputies tell me you fired at Wake and he didn't have a gun. See? Exactly. She is pissed. Let's get out of here. Ah, the light. How did I get so high up? Why are they shooting flares? They didn't find me. Search the area. Maybe for lighting purposes, but still. They have Thank flashlights. Uh oh. It's getting all fuzzy. And cloudy. What the hell is that thing? Like a for dark bear? Get across the bridge. Oh, the light broke. Now that police officers are dying. Look at that cop car. Where the hell did it come from? This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a rider, not a monster. Tweed jacket? These are in fashion. Well, Bigfoot is out there, except he's he has the darkness in him. Fun, fun stuff. Jump. <sighs> Helicopter! Son of a bitch, get out of here! Run, run, run! Oh good, he doesn't see- Oh no, they do You're see- You're on the ground! Hold it right there! Son of a bitch! There's no way to run! Why are you guys shooting me? Shit, look at all those birds. What the hell? Get out of here, helicopter. Those birds are crazy. No! The helicopter! Shit. Oh, 
helicopter crashed right there, I guess. Um, am I, am I looking at anything in particular? There's a road. There's a mountain. Where's the moon? It looks like the sun, really. Ooh, what's that? Um, spotlight. And, ooh, a thermos. The road. There's really no use of this. I think it was just to see this. The crash site. Okay. Well, that was fun. Ooh, what's in here? What, what the hell is that thing? Uh, this is Jane. Mulligan, Thornton, come in. Over. Ah, oh, bed. I can go to bed. Are they playing tennis? Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that Fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of old scotch about him, you know what I mean. Over. He's drunk shooting at me? Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in and take a look at both. Over. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The, uh... Fed's gonna wanna interview Wheeler over. Who is Wheeler again? Oh yeah, I bet he's Is it Barry? Looks like they have a lot in common. All looking out. Yeah, I think it's Barry. Ooh, look, another one. What can I look at? I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. Fancy. I wonder if that's where the guy is. And there's the gas station we went to. And there's a mountain again. The snow's not on any of them today. That's funny. Okay. I'm done with looking at it. Can I have a gun now? An old well, I think. Let's get out of here. Uh, wait. No, I need to go this way. Oh, there's a door. <laughs> My bad. I noticed that sometimes. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the it. distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Why are we going to the coal mine? I literally don't know. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. Ow. Why did why does the darkness want not me want to go to the coal mine? Which I really don't know why we're going to the coal mine, but oh well. Anything over here? Oh hey, let's start it. Ooh, look a thermos. It's the thermos I found. Mine. Now let us position this correctly. The old generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. D is it on like a timer or something? What? What's with this thing? Wow, kicking it just fixed it. I guess. Who would have guessed? Okay. Oh, wait, I killed it. Coolio. There's a bug flying around me. It's gross. It's attracted to the light. Let's get out of here. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Run, 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 run. Someone commented that I'm just a regular guy playing a video game. That was kind of funny. <laughs> Not that I think like I'm some celebrity or anything. It's just... Do you watch other people that aren't regular? I don't know why I slow mode, but yes, I see the gate not working. Okay, I have a flashlight. Sweet. That has energizer. Energizer. Why is it slow-mo? 
Energizer batteries. Cool. Well, the gate's gone. Look, a car. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. There's a lot of flashbangs. No one's gonna report. Hey, look, the hood of the car. There's a flashbang for you. Damn, that was a grenade. Well, I kind of wish I had some weapon, though, like a pistol. Because I only have five more of these, and I'm going to miss. Shit, it's the police officers. I'm running for it. What the hell is that thing? Whoa, son of a bitch. There we go. I get to this light. Ah. Eight flashbangs. And here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. It's Milk Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Milk? Isn't this the same guy? I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there, lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. That helicopter gunshots. crashed. Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door and they're popping off guns there. They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. <laughs> Uh, I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Okay, thanks. No problem. Okay, let's get out of here. Can I have a gun now? While walking across this rickety bridge. Son of a bitch. I'll just throw one by my feet. I'm blind. I flashed him. Now I'm running for it. <sighs> oh, son of a bitch! I'm just gonna keep dodging him. Until more come, because I don't want to waste a grenade on one guy. Damn it. Unless I get down to a fourth of a health. Ta -da. Damn it. Okay. You can have a party. There we go. Damn it. Look. More coming. Damn it. Stop. Oh man, I used like five right there. Oh, it's okay. I just got two more. Or three more. I wish there was some sort of flash. Or not. Why can't I point the flashlight at myself, actually? Wouldn't that make sense? If I need to get healing, just spray my face with light. What is that? Looks like fire down there. Get away from me! Son of a bitch. You want to piece me? Have that present. Good. We're all square now. This looks like a fire up here. Radio. Oh, it's the radio station. Hey, Rob, or whatever. Bitch! Have a grenade. You freeze. Okay, I have four flashbangs. And I'm not blinded by any of them for some reason. I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. 